Hey guys, so it's gonna be one of those videos again where I haven't I haven't been running any Mythic Plus this week whatsoever. We've been stuck on uh, uh, Kill Jade and Mythic, and I just can't bother even logging onto the game because it's just so damn depressing. Instead, I've just been watching uh, videos of, of people uh, doing feral guys. Like so, some of them are pretty good, others are uh, not so good. But this one in particular just triggered the hell out of me. It has the most clickbait title I've ever seen for a feral dude. Feral dude damage. Good enough for raids? Question mark? Yeah, dude. Is it good enough? And then it says, Wow, Legion, heroic. Tomb of Sargeras. Wait a minute. You don't need damage in heroic. That's, that's, that's child's play for for current like as current content is and this was published a week ago so this is fairly current and this guy is measuring the value of feral damage in a heroic raid an outdated raid in my opinion so okay let's uh, let's hear what he has to say all right Today we're going to be talking about DPS as a Feral Druid in 7.3. I've had an opportunity to go through Tuma Sargeras Heroic a couple times, and tomorrow night I'm going to be taking down Kill Jaden and getting that epic green skin. So DPS... So he, he hasn't done Kill Jaden yet, at least, at least as of the current date, or the, the date that, that this was recorded. And I'm imagining he's not going to do the super cheese strat on... on uh, on Kill Jaden, which which yields the best logs. So let's let's have a look at let's say let's say he's doing heroic Kill Jaden. Like what build does he want to go with? Oh yeah, you can see here 99, 99 parses. Like this is like this is this is not difficult content. This is parsing content. This is content where you go where you want orange logs. Nothing else. Okay, so let's see here. What am I using? Oh, I'm using um, I'm using brutal slash uh, blood talons, and I'm using uh, moonglaves. So this is sort of interesting because, like, why would I use uh, brutal slash instead of uh, savage roar? Well, because there are gonna be adds up at some point or at several points, and you, the damage you get from brutal, brutal slash if you if you make sure that that you get two uh, blood talons on it is fucking huge when you're hitting four targets at the, at the same time. So, do you think he's gonna think about this? Like, this guy? This guy? Let's keep going. Eldrude has been actually very nice. And now my stat- Yep, it's been pretty nice. They've smoothed out the rotation quite a bit, made it a bit more, uh, a bit less punishing to play. So yeah, quite nice. Stats are kind of well-rounded. I'm not favoring any other you know, specific stat at the moment because I'm kind of... You should be. You should be focusing on agility, mastery, and verse. That's it. Focusing on those three stats is the most most important thing. Unless you have, like, zero crit, but generally speaking, the haste and mastery gear is going to have crit on it. So, you know, you you have to have some crit, obviously. It's still gearing up. Um, in a way, I have 933 item level, but I'm still fine-tuning all my stats and getting everything correct. So 933 is fairly low for um, like for a week ago. Like a week ago, I was I'm the same eye level as I am right now, which is like 943. Um, so yeah, his eye level is pretty low. Not quite sure why, but you know, who gives a shit? Like when he mentions his stats, we're gonna realize that it doesn't matter. So right now I'm sitting at about 40% mastery, 40% crit, and about 30% haste. So that's 40, 40, 40, 30. Let's, uh, let's check my stats out. This is, uh, this is, this is a bit inaccurate because I'm using uh, Eye of Command, but this is, uh, let's say about 40%, about 40%, mastery a bit higher, 55, haste 13, wait a minute. Why is my haste half his when I have t 10 more eye level? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he using a bunch of haste items because he doesn't know how garbage the stat is? I think so. 
I genuinely do. Like, let's see what my... I, I have two items on my on myself that, that give haste right now. It's a 930 tear cloak, because I have to use it, because I have 940 legs with a socket, so I'm not going to use the tear legs. And I have a soul of the arch dude. Those are the two... Those are the two only haste items I, I I wear, and that's because I have to. I have a bunch of, um, like, I have a pair of boots that's that's like 940, but they have a fuck ton of, fuck ton of haste on them, so I'm not I'm not gonna use them. And yeah, that's that, that's about it. Honestly, when I get haste stuff, I just disenchant it. Haste is garbage for Feral. It does jack shit for you. So, moral of the story: get the fuck rid of that haste. It's it's a it's a garbage stat. Like I've I've I've, I've been ranting about this before, but haste does nothing for you. Unless in some very, very mi minute cases, if you're using Moment of Clarity. But then again, it only raises its value by like two points. So that's like, no, it's it's bad. It's bad, all right? All right, let's keep going. Which is, like I said, well-rounded. You know, I have a bit of every stat. Keep in mind, he never, me he never mentioned verse. Verse right now... Or verse when when you have low verse scales higher than uh, agility, so yeah, verse is pretty fucking important. You want to have a lot a, a lot of fucking verse because you're gonna be using incarnation for everything, so you, you're gonna need that verse, all right? So you know, verse important stuff, you know. And I am kind of favoring the talent choices of incarnation, saber tooth for single target. Saber tooth for single target. Let me just. Let me just go into the talent. Sabretooth. This talent. What does it do? First spike teeth, blah 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 blah. It's garbage. It does the jack shit. He's giving up 15% overall damage for 20% extra damage on your most garbage finisher. But it it, it, it extends the duration of your rip. So you, you're gonna have a more powerful rip. No, you're gonna have a slightly weaker rip because you don't have Savage Door to buff it with. Like... Brutal Slash is more powerful than, than Sabretooth. And this guy favors Sabretooth for single target, when single target is obviously Savage Roar, because it makes sense. That does not make sense. Oh man. Let's keep going. And Moment of Clarity or um, Blood Talons. And I will go with Blood Talons if I'm using Sabretooth for the most part, and I will go with Moment of Clarity if I'm using Brutal Slash. <sighs> You're not supposed to be using Sabretooth. Alright, so you can use Moment of Clarity or you can use uh, Blood Talons for varying fights. Some people are use, or actually most of us are, are using moment of, moment of Clarity on fights like um, on fights like Mistress and Kill Jaden. Mythic, that is. Not Heroic. So... There is a place for moment of of clarity. It, it gives you more damage when you're using uh, brutal slash. So if you're like if you're sort of, sort of taking feral in a more chill way and you're using uh, and you're using brutal slash uh, rather than savage or even for for single target moment of clarity is probably pretty good for you. Like it's gonna it's it's probably gonna perform better than uh, than uh, blood talents. So. Yeah. Where was I going? Where was I going with this? Let's keep going. This all depends on if there's going to be a lot of ads in the fight or if it's going to be a single target fight. In the background here, I have some So, all right, let me I've gone through this quite a few times already, but let's let's just go. Like let's see. Let's uh can I can I okay, let's go. So, your single target build is going to look like this. Shit. It's going to look like this. This is your single target build. Uh, your your uh, cleave build, if there is any cleave uh, and stuff. Like, uh, on Harjatown and Mistress and maybe Inquisition, uh, th this is all uh, uh, mythic. You're going to want to go with Brutal Slash and Pred. Because those fights are, are going to have adds that you're going to be able to kill with Pred. So, or you're going to be able to kill while you have... Uh, Bleeds on them, so you're gonna get uh, Pred going, you're gonna get more Tiger's Fury, blah. yeah, you, you guys know that. And f honestly, in my opinion, Mistress, you're gonna wanna use mom Moment of Clarity. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna go with, with the regular single target stuff. And like, this is the single target stuff, easy peasy. 
uh, sometimes you might want to use brutal slash for fights like um, for fights like uh, kill Jaden. Right now I'm using uh, this build uh, for kill Jaden uh, progression. I should probably swap to moment of clarity because like that's what all all the forty ferals that uh, that has killed the fight uh, currently uses. But I like blood talents. I'm performing pretty fucking well with uh, blood talents, so I'm fine. Um, on Avatar, you might want to go with Sabretooth if your group or if your raid doesn't do any add damage, which they're gonna do, so you're not gonna go Sabretooth, alright? You're gonna go Savishore on him, alright? You might want to go Mom Moment of Clarity, I went Moment of Clarity because we were progressing and I was lazy as fuck, alright? So sometimes that happens. Now, yeah, that's about it. You, you, you know, like, yeah, let's keep going. Footage from last night's heroic Tuma Sargeras raid. I ran with Sensation Gaming, and they pretty much have heroic Tuma Sargeras on farm at this point. So I yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not impressive to have to have heroic on farm. My previous guild social team has that shit on farm. It's not hard. You're overgeared as fuck. You're over, like. Your weapon is over over leveled as fuck. Like you're like having heroic on on farm is not cool. If you have avatar on farm, like you're able to kill avatar each week, then you're pretty pretty fucking dope. Uh, but then again, you're gonna waste time on not killing kill Jaden because chances are if you're if you're clearing yeah, avatar, you're not clearing kill Jaden. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's you know. That's uh, neither here nor there. I'm getting in there, getting a little bit of experience, and still learning the mechanics. This is about my second... There aren't any mechanics in Heroic if you have a decent team. I'm sorry. Like, no, there aren't any mechanics. Your healer is going to be able to uh, out-heal most things. Your tank is going to be able to out-tank most things. Your DPS is going to gonna be able to out-DPS most mechanics. Like, there aren't any tactics in Heroic. There aren't any tactics on Gorath either, in most cases at, at least. There aren't any tactics for uh, for uh, the fucking uh, Harjatan, uh, for inc for uh, inc uh, Inquisition, because you can beat those bosses with enough healing and enough DPS. So yeah, like we're out le like we're out leveling the content. And need I remind you, this was this was posted ten days ago. All right, let's keep going. Week doing to Sargeras heroic, so the mechanics are not quite there yet. But I will get it. So this is where I might give this the, might give this guy some credit. He might not be a raider, all right. Like I've checked some of his uh, uh, videos. He's talking a bit about PVE. He's talking a bit about PVP. So I don't know. Like I don't know who this guy is. He seems to be fairly uh, professional since he's since he's, since he seems a lot more well prepared for streaming and shit than I am because I don't do that. Period. Because I suck at it. So he might just be a streamer rather than a raider. So if that's the case, at, and this video has been completely pointless, yeah, that's my fault. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. Down. And with that being said, not knowing exactly how the mechanics work, I am still at the top three DPS for the most part. There are some boss fights where it's harder, some where it's easier. Yeah. Um, if you're looking at Mistress and Harjatan, the ads are gonna die too fast for you to be able to pad on them. But fights like this one, where I'm, I'm imagining you're gonna end up at three or two or one, uh, it's a fight that you really wanna be number one on because Feral is pretty damn good on on a maiden, especially since the kill times are super low. But then again, need I remind you, this is heroic. This is not. Sorry, this is not tough content. All right. Let me just put it like that. Let's keep going. But there are a few different classes here that I'm beating in a way. Um... Yeah, you're beating most classes because Feral is really good right now. Feral is, you know, you know, I, I talk a lot of shit, you know. I talk quite a bit of shit, honestly. But Feral is pretty fucking good. Feral is one of the best melee classes right now. In my, uh, uh, actually, let's. Let's let's go into let's go into the scoops. Let's uh, so this uh, uh, these are our wipes from uh, yesterday. So let's take let's take one where we got pretty far. This is where we got pretty far. All right, we got to forty seven percent halfway through. 
this is feral damage feral for longer fights for progression style fights we're fucking king all right we beat the shit out of we beat the shit out of uh, warlocks mages warriors hunters like feral is king all right feral is a really fucking good a good class all you need is gear and you know how to play a spec then you're golden all right so you know you know just get that going and you're and you're fine all right let's see like we got a lucky like did i get lucky let's take another kill or another attempt oh look i'm number three because this is right after right after he goes down so uh, a lot of people are gonna get their second pot and shit because i Forgot to put to tip up my second pot. But again, Feral, number three. In a pretty high end raid. Like this is Kajadan progression, alright? And I'm doing pretty well. So you know. Feral is good. We're we're a very strong strong uh, class right now. Let's keep going. Sometimes I'll get top one, sometimes top two, sometimes top three, sometimes I'll get top five. It all depends on if I know the mechanics and if I'm able to spend a lot of time know what matters if if you're using Sabertooth or not because if you're using Sabertooth your damage is gonna be jack shit that's just a fact your damage is gonna be lower than if you were gonna use uh, Brutal Slash or if you were gonna use uh, Savage Roar so your damage could be higher if you did some research also 30% haste that's way too much I'm DPSing whereas opposed to I'm running around or trying to avoid shit but I'm really looking forward to playing my Feral Druid in the future. The next raid should be amazing, especially now that I'm in an established guild. I'll be able to put some videos out of me taking down the bosses, hopefully doing mythic raids as well. Okay, so okay, so this is this is where this is where he goes over to dream of doing mythic content, which uh, again, let me just uh, okay, I don't have my looks up anymore. Fuck. Yeah, you know, mythic content not that tough. Like, yeah, it's not that tough. Sorry. Then again, I don't know. Like, I don't know this guy. I don't know who. I don't know who who he is. Who what he's up to. All I know is that I saw this guy. He triggered the shit out of me, so I made a video about it. All right. Uh, yeah. You guys have fun. Uh, try to try to get uh, try to get some top one logs on heroic maiden. All right. Peace, peace. Gigi will play it.